Ever wondered about the city that Marco Polo once called the finest and most splendid city in the world? Welcome to the historic and mesmerizing city of Hangzhou. This is no ordinary city. Nestled in the heart of China, Hangzhou boasts a rich tapestry of history and culture that dates back thousands of years. Once the capital of the Southern Song Dynasty, Hangzhou has been a significant hub of commerce, culture, and politics. Its enchanting beauty, complete with serene lakes, lush hills, and ancient temples, captivated the heart of Marco Polo, the famous Venetian merchant and explorer. But it's not just its beauty that makes Hangzhou stand out. It's the city's unique blend of tradition and innovation, its resilience, and its ability to adapt and evolve while maintaining its rich cultural heritage. So, buckle up as we journey through time to unravel the rich history of Hangzhou. Our story begins over 5,000 years ago, during the Neolithic Age, where the first known settlers of Hangzhou made their home. In this time, when much of the world was just waking up to the possibilities of agriculture and settled societies, the area now known as Hangzhou was already bustling with life. The fertile lands and abundant water resources of the Yangtze River Delta provided the perfect conditions for a thriving community. These early inhabitants of Hangzhou were not simple farmers, but a sophisticated society with advanced knowledge of pottery, jade carving, and silk weaving. They were the creators of the Liangzhu culture, one of the earliest cradles of Chinese civilization, that left a profound mark on the region and its people. The Liangzhu people, named after the place where the first artifacts of their culture were discovered, were skilled in making tools and weapons from jade, a material that still holds cultural significance in China today. Their intricate jade carvings and pottery designs reveal a people deeply connected with nature and spirituality. But perhaps the most fascinating aspect of the Liangzhu culture was their urban planning. They constructed large city sites with complex water systems, including canals and dams, demonstrating an impressive understanding of engineering and hydrology. These early feats of infrastructure not only sustained their civilization, but also set the stage for the future development of Hangzhou. As we move forward in time, Hangzhou continued to grow and evolve, absorbing influences from various dynasties and cultures. Yet, the legacy of its first settlers, the Liangzhu people, remains deeply ingrained. The city's appreciation for nature, its artistic sensibilities, and its innovative spirit can all be traced back to these ancient beginnings. So remember, as we explore the vibrant streets of modern Hangzhou, beneath our feet lies a rich and ancient history. A history that began with a group of Neolithic settlers who dared to dream, to create, and to build a home in this beautiful corner of the world. These ancient beginnings laid the foundation for the city that would grow into the Hangzhou we know today. Fast forward a few millennia to the Southern Song Dynasty, a time when Hangzhou truly flourished. Let's dive into the era of the Southern Song Dynasty which spanned the 12th and 13th centuries. This was the time when Hangzhou, the capital of this dynasty, experienced a surge of growth and prosperity. It was during this epoch that Hangzhou transformed into one of the largest and wealthiest cities in the world. Let's consider the economic landscape first. The city was a bustling hub for trade and commerce. The Grand Canal, one of the world's oldest and longest man-made waterways, connected Hangzhou to other major cities, facilitating the exchange of goods. Silk and tea, two commodities synonymous with Hangzhou, were traded far and wide, bringing in immense wealth. Now let's turn our attention to the cultural sphere. Hangzhou was a magnet for artists, poets, and scholars who were drawn to the city's picturesque landscapes and vibrant city life. This influx of creative minds led to a cultural renaissance with Hangzhou becoming a cradle for literature, art, and music. The West Lake, with its stunning beauty, served as an endless source of inspiration for many a masterpiece. Let's not forget the technological strides made during this period. Hangzhou was a city of innovation, home to some of the world's earliest paper money and a highly efficient postal system. The city also boasted a large astronomical clock tower a testament to the advanced engineering skills of the time. 
This golden era was not just about economic growth or cultural expansion, but also about societal development. Hangzhou was a city of tolerance and diversity where various religious and philosophical ideas coexisted harmoniously. Hangzhou's golden era left an indelible mark on the city's history, shaping it into a center of culture and prosperity. And even today, the echoes of this golden era resonate in the city's bustling markets, in the tranquil beauty of the West Lake, in the city's enduring spirit of innovation and tolerance. From its ancient roots, Hangzhou has evolved into a modern city that still holds tight to its historical past. In the heart of the city, the West Lake scenic area serves as a picturesque reminder of Hangzhou's enduring natural beauty. Its serene waters and lush surroundings are like a living, breathing painting that captures the city's age-old charm. Yet it's not just a place of tranquil retreat. The West Lake is a symbol of Hangzhou's commitment to preserving its heritage amid rapid urban development. Just as the West Lake mirrors the past, Hangzhou's cityscape reflects its leap into the future. The city's skyline is a vibrant mix of traditional pagodas and cutting-edge skyscrapers, a visual testament to its dual identity. Here, high-speed trains whiz past thousand-year-old temples and ancient tea houses sit comfortably alongside modern coffee shops. But perhaps the most glaring example of Hangzhou's blend of the old and new lies in its thriving tech industry. The city is home to Alibaba, one of the world's largest e-commerce companies. Alibaba's headquarters, a sprawling complex of sleek glass and steel, is a far cry from the city's ancient structures. Yet it carries the spirit of Hangzhou, a city that's not afraid to innovate and push boundaries, all while staying true to its roots. Hangzhou's modernization hasn't been a process of erasing the past, but rather incorporating it into the present. The city's architecture, culture, and even its economy are a harmonious blend of tradition and progress. Hangzhou is a city of contrasts, where the old coexists with the new, not just in physical space, but in the hearts and minds of its people. They embrace the conveniences of modern life, yet they also cherish their heritage, preserving it not as a relic of the past, but as a vital part of their identity. Hangzhou today stands as a testament to its rich history, seamlessly blending the old with the new. Hangzhou's rich history has not only shaped its own destiny, but has also left a lasting impact on the world. This remarkable city, nestled in the heart of China, has influenced global trade, culture, and politics in ways that continue to resonate to this day. If we travel back in time, Hangzhou was a vital link in the legendary Silk Road an ancient network of trade routes that connected the East and West. This bustling hub was a vibrant melting pot of goods, ideas, and cultures. It was through this gateway that Hangzhou's famous silks, teas, and porcelain wares found their way to distant lands, leaving an indelible mark on global trade and culture. Hangzhou's silk, renowned for its exquisite quality, was coveted by empires far and wide. This precious commodity not only fueled trade but also influenced fashion trends across Asia and Europe. Chinese tea, another major export, helped shape global tea drinking customs. The art of tea making and tea drinking, honed over centuries in Hangzhou, was exported along the Silk Road and seeped into the fabric of societies far removed from China. The city's delicate porcelain, known as white gold, was another prized export. Its refined craftsmanship and artistry set a standard for pottery around the world, influencing ceramic traditions from the Middle East to Europe. Fast forward to the present day, Hangzhou's impact has not waned. The city played host to the G20 summit in 2016, a testament to its significance in the global political landscape. As world leaders convened in this historic city, Hangzhou was once again at the heart of global discourse shaping policies and fostering international cooperation. From ancient times to the present day, Hangzhou has been a city that leaves its mark on the world. Its rich legacy of trade, culture, and diplomacy is a testament to its enduring global impact, a story that continues to unfold with each passing chapter. Our journey through Hangzhou's rich history has been a fascinating one, hasn't it? We've witnessed the intriguing mysteries that shroud this city, delving deep into its ancient beginnings. 
From the humble roots of a small settlement, we watched Hangzhou bloom into a bustling metropolis during its golden era. We've marveled at the seamless blend of the old and new where traditional pagodas stand tall amidst modern skyscrapers, each a testament to Hangzhou's enduring spirit. We've seen how this city has left indelible imprints on the global stage, influencing many across borders with its rich culture and vibrant economy. Each chapter of Hangzhou's story has been a testament to its resilience and adaptability, a testament to its people's relentless pursuit of progress while honoring their heritage. And so, we end our journey through time in Hangzhou, a city that truly embodies the saying, to see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower.